Today's video is all about retirement communities. What they are, how they work, what they cost, and are they right for you? Coming up next! Hi everybody, my name is Dee Burks and this is Retirement Rescue, where we learn how to make money, save money, and live well in retirement. Now, when we talk about retirement communities, that term is kind of used to lump together a lot of different things. So let's separate them out. Retirement communities generally start over 50 or over 55. They are for people who are ready to retire. Now, when we talk about the different levels of retirement community, the first level is completely independent living. Single family homes, just like they already have, but those homes are smaller, with less maintenance, and there are people there to take care of all of that. These homes tend to have very, very small yards, a small storage space, they're smaller square footage, easy to take care of, and usually they're situated uh, somewhere where you want to be. A golf course, a lake, somewhere beautiful. People move to these communities not because they want to save money. It's not about, oh, it's going to be super cheap. No, they're moving somewhere where they want a peaceful, easy life with amenities that are of interest to them. Now, many of these places will have a graduated type of community where you go from independent living, completely your own home and everything, to more of a condo situation where maybe you don't have a kitchen and you eat in a dining room. Uh, there's a little bit more assistance there. Then it goes to complete assisted living where you actually have people on staff who can help you if you need help dressing, if you need help uh, eating, any of those sorts of things, to a full-on nursing situation, nursing home, or Alzheimer's unit. Those are the various levels. All of these different levels have different, different levels of care, different levels of independence, different amenities, and different pricing. It is all over the place as far as pricing. So, you know, when you talk about the prices, there's no such thing as, oh, a senior community costs $5,000 or a senior community costs $2,000. No such thing. It is very, very dependent on what level of independence you're talking about and what level of assistance you're needing as to what the pricing will be, not to mention the amenity. If you're in a senior community that's on a golf course, of course it's going to be more expensive than if you're not. So, you know, you need to look at all of those factors. There's no such thing as a one-size-fits-all. There are lots of options, and as the population ages, there will be more options. So it really is important to investigate what they are, what they cost, what you need, and how it's going to fit with you. Now, why would someone move to a senior living community? Well, there are several really important reasons. Number one is security. Most of them are gated communities. You are living with people your own age. You don't have that fear that you might have at home of someone breaking into your house or getting to you. Many times that home that you bought 30 years ago and was in a decent neighborhood now maybe isn't in a decent neighborhood. You know, things change over time. And senior communities give you that extra level of security so you can feel safe. Another reason people would like to live in these communities is the social life. Being with people your own age who have a similar experience as you have, who went to high school about the same time you did, who have children about the same age as yours. That is wonderful to be able to be in a group of your peers and also be able to have parties, lots of social events, golf, um, exercise, all those things that you get in a community, a senior living community, that you really don't get when you're just at home. One of the biggest issues people run into as they age is that they become very isolated. It's a lot of effort to schlep out to the senior center or to try and go to places where you have that interaction with people your own age. It can be very difficult. And when you live in one of these communities, it's right out the front door. Everybody's right there and there's lots of events planned and things you can enjoy. Another benefit is location. There are many people, especially those who live in very cold climates, 
that would love to retire someplace warm while they can still enjoy it. Uh, these senior living communities provide that environment, a beautiful location, beautiful homes. Um, they take care of everything so you don't have to worry about it or have the burden of taking care of a home. Uh, you can have someone, someone else does the lawn. You have people that come and clean. You don't have any of that worry. If something goes wrong, there's someone there to fix it. Again, this is about a peaceful life. It's about relieving yourself of all those burdens of having a single family home and not getting those benefits of the social life. Another great perk is you can keep your pets. You know, a lot of people have the assumption that if you belong to a senior living community that you have to give up your pets and they don't want to do that. And I don't blame them. Pets add a lot to your life. But it's just not true. That's one of those myths out there that is just absolutely not true. Everyone recognizes how much your pet adds to your life as you age, and it's a wonderful benefit to have those companions with you. A couple of other benefits are the multiple levels of care. It is not unusual, especially if you have a spouse or a partner, for one person to need handicap accessibility before the other person does. And if you have ever gone and tried to retrofit your house for handicap accessibility, let me tell you about the tens of thousands of dollars it will cost you. We just did this for my parents' home, and honestly, it would have been cheaper to move them to a senior living community, I think, because just widening the doors, fitting in a handicap accessible bathtub that's a walk-in type tub, putting ramps on the house where they could get in and out of the house very easily, all of that is extremely expensive. And honestly, in some of the existing houses, it's not really practical because you may live there for a few years before you need a different level of care and there you've just put tens of thousands of dollars into your house and the next buyer may not want that in the house. So, you know, it's, it's not necessarily a, a great idea to try and retrofit a single family house when you can sell that house, access the equity you have in it, and move to a senior living community that's already set up for that. Having the various levels of care within the same senior living community is also wonderful for couples as well. Because if one of you needs a much higher level of care, you can get that care in the same area and facility as your spouse. Now let's talk about cost. Like I said, the cost is, it just runs the gamut depending on what you want. You can get something like a senior living apartment that is fully independent. I priced one in Santa Fe and it starts at $700. That's pretty typical for a basic apartment anywhere. But you have access to the social activities. I also have a friend who lives in a community that is independent, but the next level up. They don't have full kitchens in their units. They have a dining room, and that dining room, three meals a day, is included in the price they have. All their utilities are paid. They don't have to buy food or cook. Their rent is paid, of course. And she doesn't have to have a car because they have a van that will take you anywhere to appointments outside the facility. Now, that facility costs, depending on if you have one bedroom or two, somewhere between $1,800 and $2,700, but the price is guaranteed as long as you live there. Now, where else are you going to get a guarantee that your utilities are never going to go up? Your food cost is never going to go up. Your rent is never going to go up. And for people who live in their homes, they think, well, but it's cheaper to live here. But you really need to do the math on that. Number one, you're paying taxes, you're paying insurance, you're responsible for deductibles for anything that goes wrong. If you have an appliance break, you've got to replace it. You've got to have a vehicle to get to and from. You've got to pay for gas for that vehicle, tags for that vehicle, insurance for that vehicle. You have got to buy your own food, you've got to cook your own food, you've got to maintain your yard, clean your house, do everything that you have as a single family homeowner. When you add all that cost together, it's going to be a pretty close match most of the time. Now, here again, it's not about being cheaper. It's about having a more peaceful life where you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. There are people who take care of it. There's a cost that comes with that, but it's worth that to many people to ensure 
they don't have to worry about it anymore. And most of these facilities, they have programs for veterans. They have special programs for people on disability. They have programs for spouses of veterans. And so, you know, there are a lot of things that go into that cost structure, but there are also a lot of discounts you can get, a lot of special programs you can get uh, once you are on a fixed income. What I really want to encourage you to do is go check it out. Go and see these places for yourself. Don't make assumptions. Don't read on the internet about them. Don't listen to your neighbor. Go and actually check them out. There is a lot of disinformation out there about what they are or what they aren't or what they cost or what they don't cost. And it's just crap. Go and look for yourself. I remember the first time I went to uh, this type of facility, I was really young and I was touring it because we were doing some advertising and marketing for the company. And I remember touring one of the units and thinking, this is a sweet deal. Sign me up now. Of course, I was too young, but still, it was a really great deal for everything they were offering. So go check it out for yourself. Now, another way you can check out these facilities is to get online. There are a lot of people who live in these facilities, and some of them are on YouTube. There is one couple called Jerry and Linda. They live in a place called The Villages in Florida. The Villages are large retirement communities with little single-family homes, lots of different amenities, lots of different options. Jerry and Linda have a YouTube channel. It's called the Villages Florida Newcomers. And actually, here's a picture of Jerry and Linda right here. Jerry and Linda talk about, in various videos, their move from Indiana to Florida and how they have experienced life living in the villages in Florida. They talk about the good. They talk about the bad, the things that, that were better than they expected, the things that were worse than they expected. Those are the kind of people that can tell you the truth. They actually live there. They're not promoting it because they work there. They're not promoting it because they get anything for it. They actually live there. And so when you get a chance to talk to people who live in these communities, they can tell you the truth of what it is to live in a retirement community. And that helps you make the decision for you. And one of the biggest hindrances people have about living in a retirement community is actually moving. Nobody likes to move. It is horrible. It doesn't matter what age you are, moving does not get any better. And especially when you get to the point you can't really physically move yourself. <laughs> you know, you really, you can't be lifting the boxes and the furniture and all that stuff, let alone the idea you've got 40, 50 years worth of things sitting in your house that you've got to decide what to do with all of it. Well, there are some great solutions for that. When my friend was moving from her house to a senior living facility, uh, there was a company called Smooth Transitions. It sounds like a jazz band, doesn't it? Smooth Transitions. Anyway, this company, <laughs> this company specializes in moving seniors from their family home into a senior living community. They help you go through everything in your house and decide, do you take this with you? Do you save this for family? Do you sell it? And it's done quickly in a matter of a few days. They make all those decisions. Now, once those decisions are made, they physically move you to the facility. Once you get to the senior living community, they help you unpack. They put things on your walls. They ensure all the furniture is where it's supposed to be. And within 48 hours, it's like you've always lived there. Now, how fabulous is that? You don't have to go through all of that hassle and all of that stress. On top of this, they also take all those things that you wanted to get rid of. They have an estate sale for you. They split that money with you on a predetermined percentage. And then they get rid of everything that didn't sell. And then they send you a check. The process was one of the smoothest things I've ever seen. That's smooth transitions. I totally get where they get their name. But there are lots of companies like that that will help you move. Now, if you do like Jerry and Linda did, and you move from Indiana to Florida, it's a little bit different, but there are local companies that will pack you up, and then there are other companies when you get to Florida that will help you unpack. 
so you don't have to do everything yourself and it's not the overwhelming thing that you might think when you oh my gosh I'm gonna have to move it's gonna be awful no it's not there are lots of solutions out there and like I said more and more all the time so don't be put off by that what I would encourage you to do is go to these communities take a tour see what the options are and you may be living your best life by this time next month. Please hit the subscribe button and share this video with someone else that you think might be interested. See you next video.